Hi, can we please get another round of applause for all the amazing poets we've heard so far? <laughs> I'm so humbled and honored to be here today. I'm a local author, recently returned, literally my moving boxes just came this morning, and I'm really excited and delighted to be home. When I saw the prompt for a piece about community, I thought back to the time when I was living not too far from here, just off White Avenue, nearly 10 years ago now. And it occurred to me that that was probably the last time I actually felt connected to a community. Like I belong somewhere, like something made sense. And I'm very lucky to say that that's encapsulated in this poem here that I have to share for you today. And it has been shortened for time, if you can believe it. I took this corner before. I remember the asphalt. I ran down this alley once. I rushed to the farmer's market. Lactic acid stunned by romance. Feeling fit to live. I walked past these stores, God, Thrift, vintage, hip. I watched Starbucks battle independent coffee houses. We all know who will win. But I'm in love and always will be. With bad slant rhymes and the like, the serene chaos of this street. Remembering fibs on a pub's balcony. Remembering sex with dead friends. One day I'll lose count of the funerals. I'll walk by men who walk too slow for flashing hands. I'll pass poets who think their writing will last. And I'll bask. about these roads, traffic jams, chocolate shops, guitarists begging in browsers with power cords, kids sick and insane playing games with their veins and beaten gazebos, blowing smoke to stray cats. I was too shy to ask if they had cannabis, though I saw them strike their pipes at the foot of the Walter Dale. I walked these tracks twice, thrice, ten hundred times in graffiti and sun. I've chased icicles into spring. I've watched the ab deep throat Christmas vomit Halloween. I know these streets. I wish the concrete might recognize the smile lines of my soul. I know these streets. I've seen girls in tiny skirts smearing aortic pumps with their plastic platform boots, looking like they might be looking for a drink or more. And I knew the boys would only leave with hung heads and hangovers. I take the corner again, counting the homeless sprawled out on benches, in parks, in front of churches, in the bowels of the university, threatening our ignorance, our security. I was counting down the minutes until work. I was sick with hunger and thin in my pockets. I ran past hipster glasses, ironic mustaches, skimming vegetarian menus, contemplating noodles and Nietzsche. One day I'll lose count of the tattoos and sequential infections. Kids, I loved you even as you aged, when you graduated, crash landed, let your leases expire, overpriced, exhausted, sick with exam stress, insane with sweet lust, begrudging the government our teachers taught us to trust. 
when you snagged your diploma and realized your lease had expired along with your life. I love you all. Clutching coffees, cancers, posters, pamphlets, rusty trombones, borrowed television sets, creaking free to take couches, paperback books ready to be traded for food. I watched chapters battle used bookstores, too. This is the only place where dreamers and drinkers are one in the same. There will always be sex near the river, long after we drown on its bank. Frozen yogurt will melt, staining knuckles with baby strawberries. Frost will bite fireworks, mad creatures muffled by motorcycles without mufflers, war houses bulldozed for those heartless high rises our morals will happily die in. Pop culture is meant to wither. The best nights are best forgotten. You'll have stories between buried doors and stinking lights, the ones with beer-soaked floors and seconds of perfection. White Avenue lives up to its name. Some nights it wipes out my veins. If all deaths must have their turn, I'll take these streets with me. Thanks so much.